Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy. I hope you're all well. This is your mid-month of February 2018 reading. Mid-month till the end of February. Today is actually the 15th of February and in, in about 12 hours we're going to have the partial solar eclipse which is also a new moon in Aquarius okay that means that the Sun and the moon are on top of each other they're together so dear people this is a very positive eclipse know that wherever the universe is moving you towards it will be the right path for you just keep the faith that what is happening in your life and sometimes it may not be easy that the universe has got your highest good at heart right okay so eclipse season we're in between eclipses very very strong energetically a very very important time in everyone's life whatever is going to happen is fated now it was Valentine's Day yesterday and I do hope that all of you had a wonderful day do know that um, because we are in the eclipses energies in the eclipse energies I think that and I would say that the reading today will be affected by the eclipse energy so you can and you should because the eclipse energy lasts up to about six to nine months of course the further away we get from the eclipse the less intense are the energies but whatever pans out whatever culminates for you is going to be up to nine months now the new moon is a new beginning okay make your wishes send your wishes out to the universe it can come to fruition okay it can believe that and when we believe obviously we're sending out positive energy and we are open to the universe to bring us what is meant to be fate fate steps in for the reading today so do know that you can come back to this reading many times over the next six to nine months okay I believe that the readings will resonate for everyone but mainly this is the love and general reading for the second part of February however that works for you don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising signs I do want to thank you for being here I feel blessed I really do thank you so much to everyone now let's start off with your readings hello Capricorn welcome to divine debut this is Kathy speaking thank you for being here this is your mid-month till end of February 2018 general and love reading as I'm shuffling the eclipse is taking place we are still in the eclipse of the 15th of February now so the energies are very very strong do know that you can always come back to this reading up until even six to nine months from today because this reading is not only for end of February it's also the eclipse energy so let's see what's happening for you dear Capricorn and you'll notice that it's going to be a, a different spread today Capricorn Capricorn a different spread and let's go in the distant past you have the six of rods in the recent past you've had the Empress Wow you've had or you will be having so when you see this reading that's when the time will take place now you're at the wheel of fortune so it's been good or it will have been good let's see what the future brings oh my god the star can your luck last till till the end of the reading distant future oh my god Capricorn oh my god cancer the card of cancer Aquarius Sagittarius Jupiter 
uh, Aries, Taurus, Libra and fire here. Let me see what's at the bottom. Okay, nine of rods. Nine of rods. What does that say? It says that you have been through a hard time. You have, but you've put in all that hard work. You've stood in your integrity. You have Saturn in your sign, which says that you are putting in the elbow grease. You are, you know, drudging forward. You are pushing forward. You are um, crawling, you are fighting, you are putting everything that is necessary in to reap the rewards and you are there. This is the nine, one step before the ten which says yes it's a burden but you're one step before completion. What's beneath that? And we've got the king of cups. Now this is a watery energy, Pisces, Scorpio, <laughs> Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. Okay, now we've got the card of Cancer, so a Cancer person is in your life or will be coming in your life. This is someone who is very family orientated, dear Capricorn. Now, Cancer is your opposite sign, so this this is a match. This is a match made from heaven. Oh my God. So, in business, very successful. Six of Rods says that you are well balanced. You are receiving the accolades, the applaud. Everyone is, um, you know, giving you a pat on the back and saying, wow, well done, Capricorn, well done. So, you are riding high. Some of you may be riding too high, maybe a little bit egotistical. Okay, but you know what? It goes together. Hard work and congratulations are in store for you, Capricorn. What can I say? So you are receiving. You are receiving big time. This is abundance. This is growth. This is heavenly. Heavenly. The three, the empress, which is growth. This can be a pregnancy as well. For those of you that have been trying to fall pregnant. This is going to happen. It's really going to happen. Some of you are already pregnant. You're giving birth in the time of cancer. So end of June, July. Okay. Others of you are um, have got major support from a motherly figure. Now this can be your mother. This can be a, uh, this can be your partner. This can be the person that you see as a very, very um, giving, giving individual. This person has everything that they desire. They're very abundant in all aspects of life. Okay, and love with a capital L is here. Wow, what can I say? So the Empress is a number three. For those of you that are pregnant, I did say the month of uh, June or July, right, for some of you. So, um, but here the Empress, she's usually to me, she is three months pregnant. So a matter of six months after, okay, the chariot is a number seven, so it could be six to seven months as well, into six and seven months from now. So six and seven months from now is... Uh, August, September, okay, now in August we've got what signs? We've got, um, we've got Leo and then we've got Virgo, okay, and we've got another six here. So it's going to play out differently for each and every one of you. Now the Wheel of Fortune here is the wheel turning and it is obviously turning in your favor. It is a number 10 which speaks of completion. It's as though there is a new cycle. You know the wheel, this is Jupiter, it's bringing in major abundance for you. Um, and you know what? Um, let me think, let me think. Because Jupiter is in Scorpio, 
uh, right now. So it's bringing in, bringing up things that are hidden. But Jupiter also brings in blessings, right? Jupiter is a very transformative planet because it brings expansion and growth. And growth is written all over your reading, all over your reading. Um, some of you may be having major success within um, social groups, you know, if this is in relation to business because we've got the star card here, which is a wish card, yes, but it's also the uh, time of Aquarius or anything to do with Aquarius. Aquarius is all about social groups, you know, um, being very socially active. This is the internet. This is people at a distance. This is also um, communication, spreading your wings, you know, being an, an individual, standing out within the crowd. Um, so I believe um, yes, because for you, um, for you, uh, Jupiter is in your 11th house and that's the house of Aquarius. So by the time Jupiter leaves the house of Aquarius, um, we're talking about September, October now. Okay, that's probably when the your blessings, your wish is going to come true. It's already, the seed has been planted. You're on the right track. Keep putting in the hard work. You are overcoming whatever obstacles you had. Some of you may be literally moving because Jupiter is all about foreigners, distant places. The star is, yes, a place overseas. Of course, your wish. The chariot is a literal move. It's overcoming obstacles. It's a seven. This is spirit here. Spirit is guiding you, giving you the strength to move forward. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Some of you may be dealing with someone who has... Cancer, Cancer Sun, it can be Aquarius, Moon or Rising Sign. Also, they may have strong Sagittarius as well. And we've also got Aries, Taurus, or just in general another Fire Sign. So let's look at, I want to look at what this star, what the star is talking about. This is the best reading of all. I love it for you. So, so Spiri is like the Three of Wands. It's like, again, growth. So having sent out your ships and you will be accepting, you will be receiving the ships coming back to you. And again, matters at a distance. Whether this is business, whether this is love, whether this is anything to do with family, you have already invested your time and you will be receiving and reaping the rewards. Amore. Oh my God. Goosebumps. Love is at a distance. You may be in love with a foreign person. Companionship. I told you that cancer is all about home, family, stability, your roots, your lineage. They respect they're very, they've got, it's like a very feminine energy because Cancer is ruled by the moon. And this is the eclipse right now where the sun and the moon are kissing. So this is a very strong message for you. What will I do? Let me just take three Sibylas on the Nine of Rods because that's the only... Can I say negative? It's not even a negative card. Let me see whatever negativity we have here, if there is any at all. So we've got Bambino, and I said that some of you are going to be giving birth, right? So something new. Dispiacere says that there are tears. Okay, now this can be... If some of you have had trouble within getting pregnant, okay, uh, that could be what it, this card means. For others of you, I believe 
that sometimes we can cry from too much happiness, from being overwhelmed with happiness. And that is what I stand by because this is the Ace of Pentacles. Again, I get the goosebumps. My God, my God, security, stability, something new. You are grounded, very grounded. You are receiving. You are getting married. You are getting engaged. Someone's popping the question. You are moving. You are buying a new home. Goodness me. Goodness me. Yes, a lot of tears, sweat and blood in the past, but you are receiving and you will be receiving up until, as I said, till the end of the year. Congratulations, Capricorn. Let me take one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels for Capricorn. Dear Universe, Spirit Guides and Angels. And we have the card Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And I'm going to take one more, and that's because this card opened up too soon. So Capricorn, Capricorn, one more card in relation to love. And this is for the end of February plus for this uh, partial solar. New moon eclipse. So make your wish, everyone. Whatever you wish for now will manifest. Okay, here's your card. And we've got retreat. Goodness me. Honeymoon time is time to disconnect from the world. So this looks like moving to me. Either moving emotionally in a beautiful place or literally moving. Okay, moving into partnership, relationship, marriage and all those wonderful things that come with a wonderful partnership. Now, if this is in relation to business, you're rolling in the dough. Success on an international level, success um, with a lot of abundance coming in. You may need to move. There may be some obstacles here that you are overcoming by moving, and that can be metaphorically or literally. Oh my God, Capricorn, thank you so much. I'm so happy to give you this reading. I really am. I am stoked for you. Please do not forget to share this video, like it, subscribe. Okay, I will be back in March for more readings for you. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. My love, my love and my blessings. See you soon. Bye-bye. I forgot to mention everyone, I'm using the La Vera Sibila. Okay, which you all love and that's why I keep coming back to them. The Hansen and Robert tarot deck as well. And one card from the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay. All the best to all of you. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing.